push you outside of your comfort zone, though. When we were in Mexico, our T-Mobile cell, cell phone plans worked. Here, we have no cell phone plan. We don't have a telephone, don't speak the language, don't have internet, don't have a car. We are on yet another adventure here. This time we are heading to the city of Porto Seguro for the first time by ourselves. Oh my gosh, we're ripping off the band-aid. No more hike to help translate. No crutch. <laughs> to get on a bus, to get on a ferry. We got our... Figure out how we fix our cell phone in a language that's not our own. Yeah, and most people that we've run into in these stores and stuff don't speak English, so oh, no. we've got our Google Translate, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have to tell the bus driver on our way back, you know, where our house is, and so this will be an interesting adventure. First time going this far away from home without really <laughs> any crutches. I think crutches. we'll feel really accomplished Done, though. Yeah, it'll it, be great. You know, just like anytime you go to a foreign country where English isn't the first language or very widely spoken, it feels really uncomfortable. You may get a little nervous, but all in all, it makes you feel much more empowered when you get it done. That's for and sure. Sorry, we have to keep looking down because this road, <laughs> this isn't just like a flat paved road. There's dirt road, road <laughs> yeah. craters. Yep. If you don't watch your step, you'll crack an ankle. So, we'll, so that's why we keep looking down and around because uh, we don't want to crack any ankles while we're in Brazil. Fingers crossed all goes well. I'm sure it will, but uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. Wish us luck. Is that a murder one? Mm. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Obrigado. This man's oh. here. I do have to say though, I'm not that big of a fan with how crammed they pack these buses. I feel a little bit like a sardine and I think we're stopping to get more people. Oh no, somebody's getting off. That's great. Okay, we made it this far. That's promising. <laughs> Just keep that mask on. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Nice to see you. All right, now to go to the ferry. Oh, they're going. Let's go. Because they want to be in the shade. Uh. <laughs> ah, this feels awesome. We're in Brazil. <laughs> We're in Brazil. All right, let's do this thing. <laughs> it's like the paddle. Just let us out of the pen. All right, now let's try to recreate what we came to hike. The bus ride was a success. The ferry was a success. We are now in kind of downtown Porto Seguro. I think downtown, I don't know. Uh -huh. Right on the coast. And um, we are headed to Ching. T-I-M is pronounced Ching. Ching. Which is where we will get our cell phone plan situated since the first time we got it. Uh, didn't work out for us. Hopefully we can get that done. And uh, man, this place is just awesome. It is, this breeze is beautiful. Yeah, 
I'm sorry if you, all you guys are hearing is but um, it is absolutely beautiful here. We're loving it. First, I'm gonna ask them if they speak English. Você fala inglês. And if they don't, I pre-translated what I hope to accomplish. Then we're gonna take it from there. Basically, I'm saying last week we brought a cell phone plan and the chip is too small. At the time, we didn't have the telephone. Can you help us get the phone to work? Let's see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try. Hi. Bon dia. Você fala inglês? No. Desculpe, eu não falo português. serious they asked us to come inside and sit down <laughs> I think they're taking pity on us not speaking in Portuguese but trying to on our phones and they just want to get it to work so that we can leave but they're being lovely so and I'm thankful for the air conditioning in here yeah it's great Erica very good <laughs> I'm so proud of my ninja she's doing so well you know, knowing Spanish is definitely helping because I'm looking like a deer in headlights. We're gonna push you outside of your comfort zone though. Maybe I think on the way home you need to communicate to the bus people and the ferry people and get tickets. I have no problem doing that. This morning we had a guy come to sell us coconuts and uh, I had to answer the phone and go out there and tell him that we don't need any coconuts. So I can do it. I'm doing the same thing she's doing except for when somebody speaks Spanish, she has a little bit of a leg up. It's okay. I just need my Google Translate. Ah, that worked out great. I'm feeling really empowered. Awesome. And it wasn't too difficult, you know. It just takes a little longer when you're having to type in translations and have people read. But it doesn't mean that you can't make it happen. No, and it feels really good. And you know what? It felt so awkward not being connected when we were walking around. Unless you found some place that had public Wi-Fi. And just as an aside on that, you gotta have a VPN, especially when you're in certain places and Brazil is one of those. So texture your data, more on that later. But we have cell service, we're connected to the world, we can make a call if we need, we can order an Uber. Yeah, we are all good. Yeah. feeling a little a little bad but good I just was able to get two tickets to the ferry for the local prices which are like less than half of what visitors pay thank you for the tips on what to say Heike that was pretty awesome <laughs> it's a little things Waiting for the ferry, getting a beer, that's pretty great. Yeah. Can you just take it on the ferry? Dish. Instead of beer. Yes, okay, that, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> but okay, so basically two bucks for a beer, that's not too bad. For a Heineken? You just take it right on the ferry, what else? We successfully made our way back to Areal de Ajuda and know that this is just one of many things to come during our adventure here in Brazil. But for today, we declare success. Now, go create your own adventure.
What was that? I think that was a horse sound. <laughs> <laughs> it just came out. I didn't really think about it. <laughs> Don't hate on me, but I have a guilty pleasure. I love Top Ramen. Absolutely love it. It's my breakfast almost every day. And we just came in this little market and check out the selection. Bacon. Pick up bacon flavored ramen. Whatever Costella is. They've got legume. I love it. My hair, my attempt at a Brazilian blowout. I think this is the second time I've straightened my hair in four, four months. Four months. Yeah, and so my attempt at doing it today is appreciating it too. Is it working? So far. Like it's I not feel, the... I feel a little, little heat coming little up. Little puff? Turns into a little puff, but it's much better than Mexico. Because the humidity here is not like Mexico, so. But it is also still winter going into spring, so it's not quite summer humid yet. This may be one of the last times you see me straight hair. <laughs> <laughs> for another few months. Yeah. We're at the stadium. We're getting ready to race the cars. Like, we have the cars up there. And we're going to start to race the cars. Are you ready? Yeah. Eating dinner, and I'm not by all myself. But I have some cars up there who are gonna race. It's a blue car and a and a yellow and a brown car, and we're gonna get ready to race them. Okay, are you ready?